Okay, guys, how you doing? This is Willie Vaughn. I just want you to know that uh, Jesus Christ loves you, and I'm eating uh, crackers and peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so when you receive Jesus Christ, this is what happens. You say, you don't even have to say. It's the faith that saves. It's the hope that knowing Jesus Christ is real and that he has something for you that you never had. Like, you know, so through faith, you say, Jesus, boom, boom, I want it, right? And when you say that, just through faith, you don't even have to say it. You can confess it. There's nothing wrong with the salvation prayer. Romans 10, 9, 10. So when you receive Jesus, boom, he's in you. Now, you might not feel it. You not might not see it. You might at first because you're. It's, a, it's small. It's a seed. It's the Holy Spirit. It's a seed that came inside of you, right? And so in order for that Holy Spirit, I mean, he takes your old spirit out. The, the dead spirit in the one that loves to sin out. He puts, he places his spirit in that place. Therefore, it makes you holy. Therefore, you're righteous in the eyes of God. When you receive Jesus Christ, God the Father sees you. When he looks at you, he looks at his, the son, the blood of Jesus Christ that was on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. God raised him from the grave, right? And so if God raised him from the grave, uh, and Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. Therefore, that was what God wanted was the final sacrifice. And the final sacrifice is Jesus Christ. So if you, the Bible says, if you believe that it's John 3.16, hang signs around your house so you don't forget who you are in Christ. It says, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That word eternal life means, or together, I think they go together, but the word eternal life means exactly what it says. We're spiritual beings and we're headed either one or two places. <sighs> The lake of fire, which is being separated because we were disobedient spirits, right? Our spirit, and when we come into the world, we're dead. Our spirits can sin, can lie, can cheat. You know what I'm saying? We can steal. And it doesn't matter if we're young, we're old, we can still lie, cheat, and steal, right? So Jesus Christ made a way when he got on that cross and died for the world. It says, for God so loved the world, everybody, every person in the world, God loves. So Christ family, when you separate yourself from one another and from loving the people of the world, not loving the ways of the world, but the people in the world, we are missing the mark. You got to remember, we're all sinners that when we come into the world and we're going to be sinners until we receive Jesus Christ. Right? The blood of Jesus Christ. And when you receive Jesus, he puts his spirit in you, removing the dead spirit. So God, when he sees you, you're made right in God's eyes, right? Sorry, I had crackers and stuff. So you're made right in God's God's eyes, right? And so therefore, when God sees you, you're you're his child. Okay, we're all God's creation, but we're not all his children. So you have to get that. And you can't be telling people they belong to God. Oh, they say God, this and that. No, 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 no. You need the final sacrifice for that sin nature. You need that spirit taken out of you. The old spirit, that the spirit you came into the world that can sin, needs to be removed. That's only through Jesus Christ. Ezekiel 36 tells you, God puts his spirit in you through faith. Through faith, if you read Ezekiel 36 and the Old Testament, those are all prophecies, a lot of it. All that's about Jesus to come. Jesus came and Jesus. Anything with the red, like the red, the blood, sacrifices and all that, that's life, right? And even Rahab, when she put the crimson, the, the red wire so she, the family would be saved. And the Passover, they put the blood on the door. All that's Jesus to come. Then Jesus came, got on the cross, sacrificed that body because man brought in sin. That perfect man had to take sin out. There's no perfect men because sin was let into the world. So Jesus came down from heaven. He says, I laid out my life. I will take it up again. you got to really study the name Jesus Christ, which is Joshua HaMashiach. The English name we use in America, God gave me, was Jesus. So I'm not going to fight a way... I speak all English and then I'm going to speak a Hebrew named Yeshua, right? So Jesus means Joshua. In the Hebrew Greek, the name Jesus, Yeshua, means simply Joshua. 
the Lord saves. I believe that's what that means. So to fight over that is just Jesus gave the name Jesus Christ for Christmas for all that. God makes the final decision of what's in that Bible even. So if you give man power over any of this, you already you missed out because faith, without faith, it's impossible to please God, right? You don't study the word. You gotta have it. I got Bibles all over. You got well, that was not, but I'm saying if you're not used to reading it, at least open it. Even if you're used to, that way you go to it, right? Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan and great multitudes followed him. I just opened it up to that, right? Matthew 20, 18. The great multitudes followed Jesus. Oh, wow. Jesus is the word. Hmm. If Jesus, this Bible's alive. Jesus is the word. So if I put Jesus in my mind, which my mind was created for, because God created our minds, and the only way we can come to God and be his is through Jesus Christ. So he gave us a way to fight down here. This world that's feeding us and uh, the lies we're feeding it ourselves. And we can lie to ourselves, right? So if the multitudes follow Jesus, shouldn't that tell you we should follow Jesus and what he says? Start getting, you're making yourself happy. Take yourself to the happy place, right? The good times, right? Not the party and something that you were happy, like walk in nature. Go walk in nature or do something. Change the mood. Get in there. Because COVID, I was just talking about this with uh, Miss, Miss D and Miss KD, right? And so, therefore, the COVID has messed us up. Right, even you know the strong, like it kind of it came in and just shook it up, right? But God allowed it. God's the one that allowed all that, and He will allow. I'm not so, saying He did it. Off. I'm not saying He did it, but I'm saying that He allowed it, right? So, I mean, so long story short, find something to do, you know, and my the only way you're really going to be healed through all this and everything and you want things taken away including mental, mental health don't believe you, it can't be cured Jesus Christ he's the way he says I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me so get to Jesus start reading this holy bible you see how I read that I can't wait to read the rest the multitude follow Jesus and what happened when you follow Jesus the miracles happen all right. God bless you. I love you. Hey, I'm here. Just throw it. If you need a prayer request, all right, or something, let me know. God bless. All right. Okay, I have a little bit of time. So you guys, those that want to receive Jesus Christ, you can do it right now. We're just going to say the salvation prayer, which the word salvation uh, means uh, protection. So you want to receive Jesus Christ forever? Uh, just repeat after me, but mean it from the heart. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. But you know you want this. You want Jesus. You want him in your heart. You want to live with him forever. Uh, Father God, just repeat after me. Father God, I know that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for my sins. And God, you raised him from the grave. So I'm asking you, Jesus Christ, to come into my heart, please, and fill me up with your Holy Spirit once and forever. I'm asking you, Jesus Christ, to be my Lord forever, which means you own my body. I'm asking this today, and I'm thanking you today for doing it. Thanks for being my Lord. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now put that Holy Bible first. What you read, you have to apply. I didn't know this. You have to apply what you read. That's when the miracles happen. Come on, let's do this. And stay in prayer. Pray without season means conversate with God. Without, you know, he's already intimate with us, right? So we need to do our part. And that's get intimate. Study his word. I recommend Matthew, Mark, Luke, and or John. Put those, incorporate those through your whole journey, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and or John, and, and just follow God. Listen to God, all right? God bless and pray without season. Speak to God. Talk to him. 
Just be bad. I'm telling you, this is beautiful.